Are we doing this? <laughs> yeah, I guess we are. Hi everyone. My name is Myra. I am on Instagram as Myra Nets. I am a knitter. I am based in Chicago. I live here with my fiance. Um, but yes, I started. I have always wanted to make a YouTube video, you know, talk to my friends online about knitting. It's always difficult to find people to connect with or talk to about knitting, you know, with friends and family because they don't do it. So it's always good to have a community here on Instagram who I can kind of, you know, talk to and share my whips, you know, share colors of yarns, brands that I'm normally working with or I'm wanting to explore more. And uh, I just want to apologize in advance. I am, I say um a lot, so <laughs> just bear with me. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to create pretty much join the community. I know it's such a big community here on Instagram and on YouTube. There's so many podcasters out there. So yeah, I'll, I'll join it. <laughs> I'll, I'll be another one. <laughs> so yes, I definitely wanted to talk about my whips. I have a lot of whips. I have it. Knitting is my hobby. It's what I do before, after work. During lunchtime, you know, at work, just as a way to wind down, you know, and just relax for a little bit and enjoy this beautiful craft that I have been enjoying for about three years. A little bit about me. I have been knitting for about three years now. I did learn on YouTube. I didn't really have family or close friends that knew how to knit. I learned up. I, I, I grew up learning how to crochet. My mom did teach me how to crochet. Uh, well, a few years back, I wanted to kind of venture into this craft again. And I approached her about it, but she could only teach me um, crochet at that moment. Um, so she was able to teach me and I wanted, the first thing I wanted to learn was create garments. And I just noticed that me personally, they don't have such a smooth surface, you know, the texture kind of like knitting does. So I started watching YouTube videos and that's how I started, you know, just making chunky hats using Lion Brand. Uh, and yep, yeah, pretty much knitting hats at that moment. But then, oh, and then a bunch of scarves. <laughs> My sister owns one of the scarves I made um, back then. <laughs> that was one of my, a little messy looking, but she was nice about it. She loved it. She said she loved it. <laughs> But um, yeah, but then I started to venture into sweaters. I did remember the first sweater I started knitting was a pattern by Sorella. Uh, it was a top down construction. It didn't have raglan. It was just knitting and increasing in the round. So yeah, I was using the wrong yarn for that. And I was, I knew nothing about gauge. It was just me with my pair of bamboo needles. And yep, it looked very gapey. I knew, once again, I knew, knew nothing about gauge. So that ended up getting frogged eventually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I definitely started learning little by little in the community, joining a couple of test knits that actually started teaching me so much about garments and construction. I remember I made a color work sweater. It was a pattern by Boila Knitworks. And it came out, I started working it from the top down. I forgot what pattern it was, but it was tight. My gauge was, I knew nothing about gauge once again. It was very tight and it came out looking super tiny. I mean, I'm a small petite person, but even then it would not go over my head. But tell, I don't know why. I mean, that's one of the rules, you know, you're supposed to try on your garment as you work it. And I was not doing that. I ended up trying it on eventually when I was already past the sleeve separation. And it was like this tiny. <laughs> it would barely, I, I was trying to convince myself, I'm like, maybe I can wear it as a crop top, but no, that thing was like, had no give. It barely had any give. I don't even know how I was able to even like snug it into myself. And so, yeah, that ended up getting frogged eventually. But yeah, just a little bit of my backstory about how I was starting to learn how to knit. It's definitely, it's, it's a passion of mine. I enjoy it just like many people in this beautiful community. And I wanted to share a couple of whips that I have. Um, this is definitely me coming out of my comfort zone. 
sometimes I don't even record myself like on stories on Instagram or anything like that I'm too shy I'm such an introvert I just sit down watch a podcast and knit that's pretty much what I do uh, but yeah I definitely have been wondering about um, creating an, a YouTube channel so hey like this is me trying to do that coming out of my comfort zone in my little show so yeah I definitely wanted to share a couple of whips. I, once again, wore into fall season. I finished a couple summer tops. I was working on a couple test knits I did have for a long Alangvetka, I believe that's her. Sorry, I may be butchering her name. But I did have some, pull some finished object photos of a few of her designs that I test knit this summer. They're on my Instagram. Um, but I definitely am, I have the sweater fever right now. I wanted to knit all the sweaters and I have a couple test knits and I'm just trying to have all the pretty fall garments and I wanted to share a couple of those with you, a couple works of progress. I did have uh, one finished object that uh, actually the pattern hasn't been released just yet but it's the test knit I did for Hive Knits on Instagram and that is my sweater. This is the, let's see, December, sorry, check. <laughs> that is the Resta sweater. Oh my goodness, I apologize for that. Uh, it's a, some, the Rested Sweater by Hive Knits. Um, it will be released soon. I know they're still testing a couple more sizes. So yeah, sizes. There's still larger sizes that we're still um, working on their test knits. I knit a size one. And this is my version. I pretty much knit um, the fingering. And this is actually mohair. It was held double. And uh, I wanted mine to be fall themed since it's going to be fall soon. Uh, we're on the fall vibes. Uh, definitely you can tell a couple of decorations. <laughs> I'm ready for fall. A couple of Halloween pillows. Uh, so yes, I definitely wanted it to be fall themed. So those were the colors that came to mind when I put this together. I ended up using Knitting for Olive Merino and Knitting for Olive Mohair uh, paired together as a main color. And for the stripes, I used a variety of yarns I had in my stash. I actually used some Hobie mohair I had in my stash and Nan for Olive mohair. So I know these two for sure are Hobie. And these three, no, this one's actually Hobie as well, Diablo. Uh, this um, rusty looking color. Actually, these two are the only ones by Knitting for Olive Mohair. Um, so yeah, they're the two darkest greens. I had them in my stash. I actually had sweater quantities, but, um, and I kind of <laughs> just grabbed the mohair from there. I have sweat, I have plans to make sweaters for those. But uh, I definitely wanted to add, add those to these sweaters. So I'm a little short now on my sweater quantities, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, these are the, this is the rest of the sweater, fold the collar. I still need to weave in some ends, if you could probably see some sticking out. So yeah, it's actually a split hem and two by two on the collar, sleeves, and on the rip. So yes, definitely excited to be wearing this in the fall. I'll be wearing it to work, I'll be wearing it on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, normally, mohair does tend to get a little scratchy on me, so I'll be wearing like maybe an under a long sleeve tee underneath just to make it a little more comfortable but yeah i'm excited to wear that one it will be really soon so i know uh hive knits actually has beautiful patterns she has the first cardigan and the first sweater it's like also top down raglan will fold the collar it actually has a ribbing on the sleeves i think it's half fisherman's rib if i'm not mistaken those are definitely on my tenant list uh especially the pullover it is so beautiful another beautiful design of hers so check her out and that's honestly my only finished object for now i do have a lot of works in progress 
it's like just a heads up. Um, so one of the my works in progress I have is the Storm Sweater by Petite Knit. I know everyone loves Petite Knit. I have so many sweaters of hers. I want to knit soon. Um, this is my progress so far. For me, it always like brings it all together. Once it has the collar, you know, it looks more like it's growing, I guess, to me. So I always, I'm always excited to work on the collar. So it's a one by one rib and the texture. I have done the front and the back. Uh, and I'm already at sleeve separation. And yeah, so still working on it. I just have to knit the whole body. I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> and then the sleeves, obviously. So yes, I mean, Petite Knit definitely has beautiful patterns. This is another one of the patterns I want to, one of the sweaters I'm excited to have in my wardrobe. It's gonna be super nice and cozy. Uh, a little oversized, but it's okay. I'm knitting a size two. I tend to knit size two sometimes because I do like them to be just a little, a little baggy, a little just looser on me. And with some skinny jeans or some, you know, high waisted pants, it's just cozier. I like the coziness, uh, especially with some nice chunky sleeves. Um, so yeah, for that one, I'm using Friends Wool by Hobie. This yarn is amazing to work with. It's actually 100% wool, but not merino wool. Uh, merino does definitely tend to, um, when you block it, it does tend to grow a little bit. But this merino is so comfortable. I need more sweater quantities of these definitely in my stash. Um, I mean, no, I definitely don't need more yarn in my stash. I have quite a lot, of, a lot of yarn in there, but this is definitely a really fun yarn to work with, like a light gray. And I'm actually pairing, um, the storm sweater with some undyed Surrey. Uh, one thing about me, I do like to use undyed Surrey a lot. Um, undyed Surrey, I think it just adds a little bit of that fluffiness to your sweaters. Uh, especially when I work with some lighter tones of yarn um, and I think it just gives it it's better than and it's also more affordable um, than buying and I normally get it from Nomad yarn I get um, individually or maybe sweater quantity maybe three skeins which normally is what you need for a sweater so I definitely like to buy the undyed one to pair with some other projects I definitely have in mind and I do have I did add it to my other sweater I finished recently. It was by Burke and Rose. It was a top down sweater I knit with some sleeve detailing on the sleeves, on the cuffs of the sleeves. Uh, I added it. I did work on that one. You know what, let me show you. One sec. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> So yeah, this is the other sweater I finished recently. It was by Vert and Rose. So speckly yarn I used, and here's the detailing. So this one I used cat and sandwich fibers. Some yarn I had, sorry for that, so it didn't wake you up. Um, so I definitely had, um, and I wanted to use it with um, some undyed yarn instead of white, white. I wanted to use some undyed yarn, so that's what I paired it with. I used two strands of undyed uh, from Nomad, and I paired it with cotton sandwich fibers. So yeah, it's a nice, cozy, fluffy sweater, and it's very soft. Excited to wear that for the winter as well. So I guess that ended up being another FO. Not recent, but it was a it was a little while back that I finished it. So another work in progress I have. It's a test knit I have by Lauren Penrose. It is sibling sweater my size. Um, this is my version. I'm using these colors. It definitely took me a little while to figure out what colors to use. Um, 
but I'm really happy with this. I'm actually using from Stash. I'm using this color by Madeline Tosh. I actually frogged a sweater I had before. Um, I didn't like the way it looked, so I ended up frogging it. And I've been using the yarn on this sweater now, reusing it, so definitely excited for that. And I am, this is the color, this yarn, what it looks like. You can definitely tell it was frogged, <laughs> right? And I'm using it with Drops, Drops Lima. That's some yarn I also had in my stash, and I think it's a nice combination, don't you think? Uh, this is, has really beautiful detailing on the back. Yeah, it's a nice, unique construction. I like it. I personally, if I was to choose between raglan sweaters and um, like these, and drop shoulder, sorry, sweaters, I definitely would choose these. They're more easy to wear. And yeah, I think this is my version so far. I split for sleeves. Well, I've joined the body. So I'm just working through the body. You can tell <laughs> it was frogged. But yeah, this is what my progress my progress looks so far. I'm excited to wear that one for work and just on an everyday basis. Uh, that's definitely going to be a favorite. I'm happy with the yarn I chose. Um, yeah, another sweater. <laughs> another cardigan is actually going to be a cardigan. This is going to be the Levitate cardigan by my favorite things knitwear so i worked on the back panel it actually also has like some cute detailing right there i worked on the back panel i finished it actually i just have to um add the shoulders and then do the cross body construction with the with the wraps so you can wrap it around your body so this is the yarn the yarn i'm using for this one is drops mohair i believe it's a chocolate color and yeah drops suri i believe that's what it's called and i'm using this yarn by lion brand yarn their fisherman's wool uh, it comes in a big skein it's like such a big skein and it's really affordable actually i love to use that yarn this is like the third color I use uh, by Fisherman's Rib by Lion Brand. It's affordable. It's wool. It's nice and cozy. I've used it for two other sweaters. Another one I used it for was a test knit. I did uh, for a cabled sweater. And another sweater I used it for was a uh, design by Kai Kadri. Kadri. It was the tweed one. Uh, it's like a beigey color with little black, uh, little black tweed speckles all over. Such a fun sweater. Also, top-down construction with the folded collar is one of my favorites to wear actually during fall and winter when it's really really cold outside. It's a nice thick worsted weight design and it's um, it's fun to use. So this is another work in progress. <laughs> they'll they'll get finished eventually. <laughs> You know, but definitely priority assessments. Um, another works work in progress I have is this is a new one. I actually just casted it on like what the like two weeks ago. No, I'm sorry, apologies, two days ago. And it is the Cardi Jumper 2.0 Testnet by Vertinets. I believe that's her name. Yeah, so she's actually going to be releasing that version, two versions of it. There's one with stripes and double knitting band all the way around, a cardigan. And this is going to be, I'm, I'm doing the solid version, which is going to be the Cardi Jumper 2.0. And I actually had my eye on this design for a while. So once I saw that she was going to be re-releasing it, well, releasing an updated version um i know this one is supposed to fit more sizes and especially when it comes to the sleeve construction from what i'm aware um so this is the one this is the yarn i'm using well this is what it looks like so far it's a bit of a mess 
Oops. So, <laughs> oh my God, it's a bit of a mess. So yes, it is. It's gonna look like this. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but this is the back and this is the front panel. I am finishing up the front panel, uh, about to pick up the sleeves for the second panel. And yeah, it's, I'm excited for this one. I definitely needed something like this. Um, I do wear some dress pants for work. And some of my sweaters tend to be just a little too long for my pants. I need something more um, more at my waist, a little more cropped. And I can see this as a fun, versatile cardigan I can put on top. Maybe some long sleeve t-shirts. Um, definitely like a staple piece. I could see myself knitting this in many other colors for work. And yeah, more like everyday wear, just a nice light cardigan. You can just throw on top of uh, whatever you're wearing. It could be a t-shirt. It could be a long sleeve t-shirt. Maybe even, oh, on top of uh, a dress. If you're wearing like a long dress, maybe some, like a nice fall skirt. That would look so cute. So the yarn I'm using for this one is, again, <laughs> undyed mohair. This is what it looks like. What I have left of a skein right now. I think I actually started off with a little less. Uh, it was a partial skein I had in my, in my stash. And I'm using them for olive merino and the color marzipan. And yep, that's my work in progress right now. I have it in my cute little bag by Knitting for Nelly. She has the most beautiful bags. And I have managed to snag two or three. I know those go super fast. I know one some, I guess it was taken from my cart and I wasn't able to purchase one of the bags a while back, but and anyway, I was able to snag this cute little one. Oh, isn't it beautiful? It has little fall designs. I think it's more fall Halloween themed. It has a little broomstick right there. Oh, it's so cute. It's so, cute. so, um, so yes, that's a few of my works. Oh, one more. <laughs> one more works in progress. Uh, oh, here's another bag by Knitting for Nelly. Oh, isn't it cute? <laughs> so this is another project I'm working on. It's actually a test knit for the Crea Bea um, on Instagram. And it's going to be her season stick sweater. This is, oops, I'm like in the middle of the row. This is what it looks like, the pretty texture. And I'm using some yarn from Stash. Um, I'm trying to use up a lot of yarn from Stash and maybe not buy as much yarn. Um, so yeah, I like this color actually it has a lot of dimension to it. It has like orangey brown tones. I think it's perfect for fall. <laughs> That's why I was drawn to use this um, yarn for this specific design. And this is what the yarn looks like. I'm finishing up a skein and I wound up another skein. Oh, look at those colors. So cute. The orangey, maybe even a little bit of green you can see in there. And definitely some brown. So yes, those, uh, as you can tell, I'm working on a lot of sweaters. Oh, I'm excited to wear all the sweaters this fall and winter. But definitely right now, fall vibes are strong. <laughs> so, yes. That's another of my projects that I'm working on. Got a lot to do. <laughs> a lot of knitting. So, yes. And acquisitions. I have no acquisitions right now, actually. No. No yarn. I did buy some discounted yarn at Wool & Company. I found online. It's a discontinued color by Sanded's Garn that uh, was actually on sale. I'll show you a couple of those skeins. One sec. Okay, I'm back. So I did find this beautiful yarn on sale. It's Sanded's Garn Sisu. I've never used this yarn before, but it was being discontinued and I managed to um, get about a sweater's quantity. So. 
those definitely will be getting some use soon. Not sure what plans I have for it just yet. I maybe an Oslo sweater, maybe Stockholm sweater. Definitely, I have been wanting to knit more sweaters I can gravitate toward and grab, um, just use more on a daily basis. I spend a lot of time knitting and I want to make sure that what I'm knitting is getting used, a lot of use. So, yep. And I'm also trying to go for the colors that I know fit my wardrobe and my style. Um, a lot of neutral colors. I definitely like to, I am loving right now that can be either a lot of beige tones, light grays, um, brown tones, earth tones. I'm definitely enjoying those. Terracotta. Can't forget terracotta, one of my favorite colors. So yes, I definitely wanted to join the community and share a little bit of my whips, talk to the YouTube community about what my knits, what I'm working on, and what my plans are. For now, I have no other plans. I'm definitely focused on finishing what I've cast on. Maybe just one more whip I'm excited to cast on soon, but I'm trying not to, is the balloon sweater by Petite Knit. That's such a beautiful pattern. So yes, I thank you once again, everyone. I hope you all have a great day and maybe we'll keep this going. We'll see if there's episode two coming. And but yes, happy knitting. Bye.